guys welcome back to the channel well today's video working on the old ranger and i want to show briefly how to grab trouble codes out of an obd1 system so this truck actually doesn't have a functioning check engine light so the procedure to do the just standard jumper wire won't work you need to use a multimeter you can also use a test light but i'm going to show you how to do this with a multimeter and i'm going to show you how to do it on continuity mode so if you're new to multimeters and you don't know what continuity mode is it's this little setting right here and basically this is a beeping uh, multimeter by south wire so it's going to give me a beep and the sequential beeps are going to tell me the code so i'm going to demonstrate it then you can kind of understand how this works on the ranger there's a little flap you take that off it sits right in this area here look down in this section and this will probably be buried way down here where you can't see it pull up this connector here that looks like this and find this little connector here. Now, these are gonna be essential in reading your code. So let me show you, I'm gonna go ahead and you're gonna basically build a small jumper wire. And it's real simple, uh, just real simple uh, male end uh, 12 volt connector ends right here and a little piece of wire. So let me show you where you plug this in. I have my jumper wire connected to, if you look at the connector, it makes a V at the bottom. Your lower left connection here, which is, I believe, a ground. And then this is your self-test input section. So leave this alone. So if you go over to your multimeter, I actually have allig alligator clips for my multimeter to make the demonstration a little bit simpler. But you're going to go ahead and connect your positive over here on this side of the multimeter and your negative to your negative common on your uh, tester, your meter. You're going to connect your positive cable of your multimeter to the positive terminal, terminal of the battery. Your negative terminal is actually gonna connect over here. So let me show you where I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in here. The negative probe for your continu or your uh, voltage tester is gonna go right here where my thumb is touching. It's this uh, one over from the right side of the connector if you're looking at it as a V. I actually have simplified this for the video uh, for you guys so, you, so I can kind of be freehanding the camera. So right now all I have connected to that is just a regular, another jumper wire. I'm gonna go ahead and connect my negative um, lead from my voltage meter up to this so you can understand the loop. All right, guys, real quick, before I go to the next clip, I do want to tell you this is going to be a trigger warning. If you guys, like I have, dogs that are sensitive to beeping sounds or you are sensitive to high-pitched beeping sounds, this voltage tester is going to make a couple of beeps, uh, high-pitched beeps. So if, it, if you are sensitive, please mute the video and just simply watch the little reading change on my voltage tester. You've been warned. Okay, this may be a little annoying, but I've connected it here. My key is off in the ignition. So... Let me go ahead and turn the key to run and let me show you what happens. Sit here and listen. So three, one, it's gonna do it again. Three, one. So code 31. So now that you know what your code is, it'll repeat it twice. That's telling you it's gonna start over. Three, one. So now what you can do is disconnect your negative It'll just continue to repeat that same loop. So now you know you have a, now I know that on this particular 2.9, I have a code 31, which is actually an EGR valve. So if you guys are having issues uh, with one of these older Fords, you know, it's not, I don't recommend just going on and doing the scattergun approach and, and replacing everything. You know, I was at first thinking it was an IAC sensor, but now I know it's an EGR valve. So just a good little, uh, reference here on how to connect this so i'm going to recap this one more time you have your voltmeter positive positive side of the battery negative this top section here of the jump of the self-test uh connector you're going to jumper wire from the sti which is self-test input to down here this bottom left which is ground that's your loop 
follow this procedure and you'll be able to be uh, check your codes in your OBD1 system. If this video helped you, please thumbs up, please subscribe. I promise you'll learn something throughout the year. Thanks for watching, guys.